Good, hola, hola. Yeah. They love you. You got, you got to say hi to the Latinos, you know? Oh, you have to, of course. Hola. <laughs> uh, I spent some time in, in your I hometown. Know, I wanted to say thank you so much for visiting Puerto Rico. Oh. That was so special for you, the whole team, the whole production team. That was so special to watch you guys have so much fun in my island. I love you for that. Ah, please. That was, that was, yeah. that was it. It meant so much to us. It yeah. changed change me. It's and just it looked like you guys had fun. We had the best time. Toro Verde, I saw you guys. I saw, oh. I saw you guys. No, I'm never, I'll never. What, what I'll, happened, Quest? I'll never do that again. No, no, no. What He's happened, smart. Man? He's smart. He's smart. <laughs> uh, uh, you were born in, uh, in Puerto Rico, and then you yes. moved to Orlando when you were 11. 11, yeah. What was that transition like? It was tough. It was, It was right? tough, you know, learning a new language, just, you know, changing schools, leaving kind of everything behind, starting over. But, you know, music was kind of my savior. It, it was. was. It was a little bit my like my escape valve. That's the way I could communicate, kind of talk to people. I met great friends, you know, amazing teachers. Shout out to Mr. Galasso, who was my chorus teacher. You know, teachers are so important. Sometimes we don't give them enough credit, so yeah. thank you. Why not? Give them props, why not? Yeah, yeah. He was my chorus teacher, so met a great group of guys, and Were all of a sudden it was uh, all good. Were you always Luis Fancy? Is that, was that always your name? So my name is Luis Alfonso Rodriguez. Oh. Repeat after me. Luis Alfonso Luis Rodriguez. Luis Alfonso, Alfonso Rodriguez. Yes. That's... Rodriguez, okay. Yeah. But I was always called Fonzi. Or in Spanish, really, it was Fonzi. You know, yeah. they called me Fonzi because it was short for Alfonso. So when I went to, you know, when I moved to Orlando, it was just Fonzi Rodriguez. Yeah. So then when I moved to Orlando, I don't know if I told you the story, when I moved to Orlando, they'd be like, hey, so like, Fonzi, like, like the Fonz, right? <laughs> But I didn't, I, I, I didn't have a clue who the Fonz was because I... I you are in Puerto Rico, yeah. I was in Puerto Rico, you know, I was watching like Spanish shows, you know what I mean? <laughs> so like, uh, I was like listening to Menudo and all that stuff. So then I was like, I was like, yeah, like the Fonz. I was like, I, I have no idea what these guys were saying. So, so people go up to you going like, hey, yeah, and you're know, like, I don't get it. Like, yeah, but, yeah I guess, do I do that? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I was like, I just want to fit in. <laughs> I just want to have not friends. Fonzie. This is Fonzie, yeah. So absolutely. then I figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. But you got a, uh, one of your first bands. Was it ninth grade? Oh, man. Yeah, I have to show this. Oh, man. You were in a band with Joey Fatone. I was. Before I, I was. NSYNC, huh? Before NSYNC, yeah. It was called. So it was a, it was a, a doo wop a cappella group called, wait for it, called The Big Guys. <laughs> I know. I wow. I know. I the can't. The big guys. I cannot make this up. But <laughs> our teacher just named us the big guys, so we couldn't really change it. And let me tell you, I love these guys. Joey, oh, Eric, yeah. Joel, they're still to this day my best friends. I have to be and honest. We, we, you're, you're not that big. Check, check it out. I you're mean, not I was, that big of a guy. You're a tiny. I'm, I'm tiny. <laughs> hey, you why are you guys the, laughing so loud, the tiny, man? The, the tiny guys. I, would, I mean, they, these guys, they're tall. I'm just the little tiny one. but. This looks like it's taken like an old-timey photo place or something like that. It's like, <laughs> like, like, like are you it's a horrible. ghost or something? It's like, yeah, horrible. This is, but you would, you, there was a doo-wop? Yeah, and then we started, group and then, we started the and, Big Guy Foundation so we could raise money to buy those jackets. Because we had no, like, we didn't the have The foundation went to you buying clothes? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That's the best scam no I've ever money. heard of. Yeah. <laughs> That's we had, the we best. We had no money, but hey, we got clothes. We, we did but harmony. Did, it was did great. You did you play anywhere? Did you go? Yeah, I mean, in school, talent shows, and then we would go to, like, Old Town and do, like, little doo-wop sessions, and people would give us enough money to buy, like, wings and a soda. <laughs> Isn't that great, I mean, though? it was fun, you that's know? That's where you started. It's where it all started. That's where it all started. I love then, those guys. And then next thing you know, you're, you're writing Despacito, and uh, yeah. it's got six billion hits on YouTube. Wow. Six wow. billion. Yeah. YouTube. I know. What, six billion, man. Oh, my. So crazy, right? That's unbelievable. I know. That's like my whole family watching it over and over and over. Yeah, and yeah over. that's all it was? Yes. Uh, but yes. congrats on the, on the new album, uh, Vida. Thank uh, you. Uh, this Thank is you. out. This is out on, on, uh, this is out on Friday? This Friday, yeah, in two this, days. This Friday, yeah, in two yeah, days. This comes together. out, so pick this up. And uh, it has Despacito, it has, like, the song I did with Demi Lovato, Echame La Culpa, it has a bunch of great songs, so I hope you guys love yeah, absolutely. it. Absolutely, okay. yeah. Daddy Yankee, obviously. Yeah, yeah, of course, Daddy Yankee was a huge part of Despacito, so gracias, Daddy Yankee. Thank you, JB, Justin Bieber, who yeah. did an amazing remix. That's gonna be Opened great. up a lot of doors for Latin music, so really grateful for those guys. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.